Hey there, Dewdrops. It's Diane from Coravina. Happy Friday. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Let me show you what we made yesterday. Look at how pretty this is. All the details, the vibrant colors. Um, we did this. We were inspired by feathers yesterday. I think this looks very feather-esque, don't you? All right, so I did a thing. I hope you like it. Okay, I took this pattern and then created wall art using our pattern. All right, so the teeny tiny lines here, those are the water marbled designs from this pattern that we made. And I made this free for you to download and use in your home if you want to. I love digital downloads. I don't know if you're familiar with how these work, um, but you can find them on Etsy a lot. And so you go to the website and you download the graphic and then you print it at home on your computer or you can send it to somewhere like Staples to have them print it with better quality paper. And then you put it in a frame and you're decorated for fall. I'm a busy mom, this is how I decorate, <laughs> okay? So, if you uh, go to the Facebook group, you can find a link, this is the only place, I'm putting the link right now, okay? So just for you guys, because you're super special. Um, you can go to my website, find instructions on how to download this and print it, and then you can put it in a pretty little frame, and you're decorated for fall, okay? So this is our first ever freebie Friday. If you guys like it, we'll do more. Make sure and let me know that you like it. <laughs> okay. All right. So this will be up. Um, I'll probably leave it up through the weekend. And then after that, I'll probably dismantle it. All right. So you got to go now and get it. <laughs> okay. If you want it. All right. So yesterday we did that beautiful pattern and it was attached to another beautiful pattern. I really like option number one here. I really like the red rock and the blues. All right. And there's a little bit of orange in there. I think it looks really pretty. That's what we're gonna do today, okay? Let me show you what we're working with. We have got our red, okay? Then we've got orange, because you can't see the orange color swatch, but it is in that picture, okay? I'm gonna bring in a couple of browns here. A couple of shades of brown. A little bit of oranges in there too, kind of orange tints. And then we're gonna come in with two blues all right it's got a darker blue and then a lighter one it kind of represents the shirt and the river in this picture all right so this is what we're working with i'm excited about this i hope you're excited too let's see what kind of beautiful paper we can make today all right all right let me get these out of the way and we will get started let me show you the best view in the house right here it's our dew drop cam all right so we're going to start the same way we always do we are going to do one drop straight down the center of the tray. This primes our water and really helps our paint float without getting white spots. All right. So I think I'm going to drop in lines today. Just really what I'm feeling right now. Very nice, there we go. Uh, hmm, what did I forget? What haven't I done yet? Does anybody have any good plans for Halloween this weekend? I am, uh, we are trick or treating. That's about the extent of my plans. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be fun. The kids are so excited. Got everybody ready for their school um, Halloween parties today. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's having a good time. I'm gonna come back in and drop this uh, lighter brown over top of our deep brown because it is spreading quite a bit. And now we're gonna come in with our blues, all right? I feel like we should drop this one right in the middle. And see how well that blue is spreading. They all spread a little bit different. <laughs> Every paint is, you know, it's really kind of an experiment. You never know exactly what you're gonna get. Like a box of chocolates, I like to say on here frequently. All right, very nice. I can see our red has really shrunk, so I'm gonna come back in here 
add a little bit more red. See if we can't shrink down that blue a bit because it really expanded. Water marbling is a game of push and pull. Everything is constantly moving. Um, so it's best to just kind of go with what you're doing. It's best to not have really intricate patterns in mind, in my opinion. It's just harder to achieve them. <laughs> Gotta kind of take what you're given here. We operate from the Bob Ross School of Painting. We don't have mistakes. We have happy little dewdrops, happy little drops of water. All right, but I can see this kind of looks a bit faded. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our lighter blue. All right, just so it's, so we've got something fun to look at in here, okay? All right, so we've got plenty of paint on our tray. We are gonna start moving our paint around on the surface if I can find my tools. Oh, excuse me, dewdrops. Things are not where they're supposed to be. All right. We've got our tool in the water and we're gonna shift it down and you can watch it adjust. Not seeing a ton right now. Wait till we bring it back. Let's see it adjust again. All right, this will be much more of a payoff here. Kind of drag it slowly. It's very pretty, isn't it? I always think that. I know you know that. All right. We're gonna do it one more time. Okay, very cool. And then I I'm gonna play just a little bit. Can y'all tolerate me while I play? I followed this marbler who does just amazing work. I'm always like, how do they do this? How do they achieve these patterns? I think I'm missing something. Must be missing a step. Water marbling is very much like, you know, brain teasers when you're looking at different patterns and you're like, how? I don't understand. How did this happen? All right, so we've got some interesting stuff going on there. I think it's going to make a neat piece of paper. Let's lower down some paper and see what happens. All right, here we go. I'm going to lay it down nice and gently and try not to move it too much on the surface. All right, hello, hello. Are we ready? Let's pull this up and see what we have got. Ooh, I like the color. I think it's good color. I don't think we've got too much crackling going on. I don't think we have too much bleeding. I think it looks nice. I'm looking at our inspiration. I'm not sure it looks so much like the inspiration picture. The inspiration picture is very dark. Um, but I think this paper is pretty no matter what. Let me move it to the side here. Find a good place for it to sit and hang out for a minute. Interesting. So I think that our lighter blue kind of overtook it just a little bit, but I think it's still pretty. 
So what's gonna happen now? Now I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna iron it <laughs> so it's nice and smooth and not wavy. And then I'll come back and post pictures so we can compare the two and see how it turned out. All right, so a couple of things. One, go get your free printable, <laughs> okay? Uh, that's pinned to the Facebook group. Number two, have you shopped the Coravina Scarf Show yet? Sale yet? You should. All right, we've got a coupon code on the website. You got a coupon code sent to you in the email if you're an email subscriber, and then you got free shipping. So you combine all three of those things and you can get a $50 hand-painted scarf for 30. All right, it's a great deal, don't miss it. This sale ends on Sunday, so go and check that out. And make sure to like, comment, or share on this video and that really helps me out. All right, Dewdrops, I hope you have a fantastic, fun, very safe, very joyful Halloween weekend, okay? Remember, live colorfully. I'll see you Monday. Goodbye.